Because it's blowing a hoolie. It's proper blowing a hoolie. But feel a little bit more secure here. Yeah. I've just decided we're gonna take a quick walk out. I'm gonna look at Kirkwall Cathedral. Well, that was absolutely worth visiting, wasn't it? Hi. Here lies Betty Corrigal. Uh, well, <laughs> made it onto Hoy. Well, we've moved from the uh, from Scarborough Beach. We've moved into town. It's a free car park we found for 24 hours. Yeah. So we're going to sit it out here, I think. Uh, because it's blowing a hoolie. It's proper blowing a hoolie. Uh, but feel a little bit more secure here. Yeah. With, with the weather. Open to the elements up. Yeah, absolutely. The beach, won't we? Neither of us have got washed yet. <laughs> um, but we've just had breakfast. This is bad life. Some nice <laughs> fried eggs and some haggis there this morning. Oh, that was nice. And even Isla's had a couple of eggs as well. Yeah. So, coffee. And then uh, we'll just have to just try and sit this out and see what happens with the weather. No, because we need to get into town, don't we? Well, Tesco's is behind us, Lidl's yeah. is behind us, and the co-op is also there. Yeah. So you've got a choice of three supermarkets behind sorted, you. Sorted, sorted. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of bits we need to pick up from town. Yeah. We've got a power issue at the moment. Yeah. So, so but there we go. <coughs> and, uh, right. Just see this through. <laughs> just... <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> We're getting absolutely battered here. Absolutely battered. You can't see the van moving so much out here, but inside it's awful. Oh. Thanks to David Mandy, our, our best business friends in the world. In the whole wide world. Yeah, we miss you. Yeah. Anyway, they bought, bought us this, this map, didn't they? Yeah. Uh -huh. A scratch map. Yeah. And it's, and it's got the whole of the UK. Yeah. And it's got Europe in it as well. So we're going. To... So obviously we're starting the UK, aren't we? Yeah. Uh huh. But Dave, we listened to what you said. We're not starting to scratch off places we've no. already been previously. Um, this is a whole new adventure. Isn't it? So we started in Northumberland. Right, sweet. Right, there we go. That was a half an hour rainy day project. Yeah. That was done. good fun. Done all right, we? 13 of these. We'll be crossing that one off soon. And then we'll be coming back down, 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 down Lady Kent, across to Calais. Yeah. Thanks, David Mandy. 13 counties gone already. Yeah. Not bad, eh? That's good. <laughs> it's good. Not even a week, is it? Yeah, it's over a week now. It's Monday. Oh yes. Tuesday. 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 Right. And okay. this morning, um, we've just booked the ferry for Hoy tomorrow, so we're going to go over to the um, Scarpa Flow Museum tomorrow, yeah. and then spend the night over on Hoy. So yeah. that's another ferry journey. And the weather should be better tomorrow. The weather should be better tomorrow. <laughs> Right. Fantastic. Okay then? Yep. <laughs> oh, we've just decided we're going to take a quick walk out. I'm going to look at Kirkwall Cathedral in between showers. So windy. Still really windy. <laughs> <laughs> really windy. Oh. So we'll show you as much as we can. Don't mind the wind, but not the uh, rain on top as no, well. Exactly. So there's the cathedral we're heading to. <coughs> Magnus Erlandsson was the Earl of Orkney in the early 1100s. He and his cousin had a disagreement and rather than kill Magnus himself, Hakon, his cousin, ordered his cook, Liftolf, to do the deed instead. Following Magnus' death, his nephew Rognevold originally called Kali, came from Norway to claim his uncle's earldom and promised the people of Orkney that he would build a great stone minster in honour of Magnus. St Magnus Cathedral was founded in 1137 by Earl Rognevold.
inside the main brewery on Sunday. Obviously the opening times were a bit obscure. It was closed on Sunday, but we managed to find the shop. Started in 1988. Needless to say, we got some. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. Has to be done, doesn't it? Yeah. Has to be done. <coughs> That's us back at the van. Just in time before another downpour. And like I said earlier, we managed to get to the uh, Orkney Brewery shop. Got a couple of beers each there for some for one evening. 280 a bottle, which I thought was really good. And I also managed to get a pack of uh, fruit pudding, which he's been looking for for some time. So that's in the fridge. Got a Orkney sticker as well for our sticker collection. We had a good look round, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Well, fairly and decent look round, given the weather. Hey. And Anna's got Beecham's. Yeah. So, yes, <sighs> a good hour or so in Kirkwall that was. So we've just come back to uh, Scarpa Beach where we were parked the other night before we left to escape the storm. We survived the storm in the car park at Kirkwall, didn't we? Yeah. Yesterday. And uh, so we've just popped back here to the memorial for HMS Royal Oak. I'm glad we did. Which is all of this in here. So those that don't know, HMS Royal Oak was sunk in 1939 whilst anchored in Scarpa just out there somewhere there's a boy with reefs on it marking the spot where HMS Royal Oak lays and this is the memorial to that ship it's a memorial isn't it isn't it yeah absolutely so she was sunk on the night of the 13th or 14th of October 1939, whilst at anchor. And she was sunk by a German U boat, U 47. Many of the crew were as young as 15. They were sleeping in cabins deep within the ship. They had no chance of escape. How sad. Mm. A mini torpedo hit the bow wrongly thought to be an internal explosion. How sad. So if you're ever up this way, it's worth visiting this memorial for HMS Royal Oak. Right, so the plan today, I think the storm has passed. It's still windy out there, but not as windy as yesterday. No. <laughs> so we're heading to get the ferry over to Hoy. Hoy. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Just for the night. Yeah, go and see what that's like. Well, why not? Well, last night's park up was good, actually. I should have showed you it, but uh, it was a car park. Had Lidl behind, had Tesco's in, had co-op as well. So three supermarkets, wasn't there, that you could... Uh, it says you could only stay for 24 hours. We stayed a little bit longer, because obviously the time we got there yeah. yesterday. But hey... We had a nice little walk around Kirkwall as well yesterday. Yeah. It's a good park up. Right, right, let's, let's get go. back on the road. Here we are, Houghton, Houghton, whichever way you pronounce it. On the ferry that's just gone is the one we're going to be getting on to Hoy, but not till 11.45. So we've got a bit of time to hang around and wait. But that's all right, because we've got some epic views here, some fantastic views of the different islands. Yeah, this wasn't planned until we got here and then decided to uh, just chuck a random trip in to Hoy. But I think it's going to be worth it. I think it's absolutely going to be worth it. £60 return. Two people in the motorhome, which I thought was quite good. Happy to pay that for something I want to do. So I'm going to jump back in the van, maybe get a coffee on. And then just enjoy the views and wait till the uh, ferry comes back. If 
you're going to do this, you have to phone up. If you, well, if you're going to do it with a motorhome anyway, or a van, um, anything over five and a half metres, you have to phone up and book, book in advance. Just for information for you. This is it, guys. We're on our way to Hoi. Ship ahoy! <laughs> <laughs> Ship to hoy. This boat's called Ahoy Head. Ahoy ahead! <laughs> Ahoy head. I'll see what the people do first. See over the top there. Right. <coughs> we get there in an hour, so see if we'll film what he's going to film, and I'll see you in an hour. Well, that's us on board. We're right at the front. There we are. Looking good. Anna's decided she's going to stay in the van for the trip over. I'll come up, get some video, and enjoy some of the views. Love a ferry trip, even if it's just island hopping. It's good fun. It's quite smooth as well, actually. No, it doesn't look it. A little bit of movement. But, uh, it's manageable for now. We're on boy. We're on boy. High five. as well oh yeah, to the old man and then there's Scarpa Flow Museum that we're going to do tomorrow yeah. on the way back here uh -huh. what time are back? <coughs> uh, 12.30 that opens at 9.30 right, we'll so I want to do that tomorrow Betty in the 1770s fell pregnant to a seaman, but sadly, once he knew she was pregnant, he left and there was never seen again. So because of this, because of the shame, Betty tried to kill herself. She tried to drown herself, but in the end, she didn't. She hung herself. After Betty's passing, the critics continued their time-minded, uncharitable view of Betty and the powers that be of the time dictated that she must be buried in unconsecrated ground on the parish boundary in the effect stating that she was nothing to do with them and that she belonged nowhere. So far, it's just there. Yeah, and we've got Highland Coos right in front of us. Yep, and there is our view. Is that a little bothy or something? Yeah, there's loads of little settlements that we've seen or abandoned settlements over here, isn't there? Yeah, what well, about here? The bothy, all right. Yeah, maybe so empty your toilet. Yeah, there is. All right, let's go. Well, like Anna was just well, saying, there, toilet emptying point and rubbish bins and I think you can top up your fresh water as well. 
we'll show you more about that after this because we saw the old man ahoy on the ship when we came into Orkney now we're about to walk to the old man ahoy so wish us luck yeah. and uh, <laughs> let's hope that's I'm still smiling at the end let's hope that sun keeps shining I know views just get better Movement. Don't they? Yeah. Beautiful. Just had uh, plenty of wind warnings from people who've been at the top. So, let's see what that's like when we get up there. But look at the views, they just get better. We've got a tad warm there. It did, didn't it? Take a layer off. No. Blue, <laughs> blue skies. Woo! Sun's out, blue skies. And it's happy. <laughs> and the sun's shining on the old man ahoy. Look at it. That's where we're going, there baby. We're off. This is the old man ahoy. Britain's tallest sea stack at 137 meters <laughs> so you know anna doesn't like heights no and uh, that was pretty high and it was really blustery as well even isla got blown <laughs> <laughs> so we managed to get photos together there and then I got some of myself by it because obviously I'm happy to go a little bit closer. But I wasn't happy with him going closer. I'll tell you what, those views are just something else and the, the photos, the video are not going to do that any justice no. whatsoever. No. It's an absolutely beautiful sight. It's worth see, the walk. It? Worth the walk. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely worth the walk. Now for that beer. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Excuse the look. Literally just got up. But I wanted to bring you out and uh, show you the sun coming up over the hills this morning. Look at that. Fantastic view this morning. And the plan, I'm going to head down to the bay. I'm going to show you around this park up. And then we're going to head to the Dwarfy Stain, then on to the Scarpa Flow Museum before getting the ferry back over to uh, Hooton, back onto the mainland of Orkney. Okay, so we said we were going to uh, show you where we parked up last night here on Hoy. And there we are, just in that car park there. The sun coming up over the hills. I was gonna take a wander down now to the to the bay. And show you the toilets on the way. The car, as you can see, caravans and motorhomes and that can stay for a maximum of seven nights. It's in Ratquick Bay. Got bins. Anybody home? <laughs> no, are unisex, that's why I've not. But here you go. Oh, wow. You have to duck when you come in. Oh, the nice. Light switch there, look. Must be on the timer. Yeah. So, just in this little stone bothy, you've got your toilets. And then you've got a sink. Oh, wow. I think there's hot water there as well. Yeah. And obviously somebody's left some painted stones on the shelf. This is cool. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. So there you go, that's your toilet facilities. And then outside is where you empty your chemical toilets from your caravan or your motorhome. 
I think that's pretty good for a free park up. Especially when you can stay for seven days. There's not many places that offer that. And then there's all the peace and tranquility you've got around here as well. And the walk to the old Manor Hoy, which you saw us do earlier. Pot of gold over there somewhere. Two pots. Look at it, you can see it go right out to sea. <sighs> Just got caught in a shower there. Yeah. <laughs> Watching the seals in the sea, yeah, and those two rainbows, and then it just whoosh down it came. So uh, a little bit wet. Never mind. Oh well. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs>